So as I said, offensive, defensive, GRC, these are the main three terminology. Okay, three main functions. Okay, so let's take an example. Okay, I have a server. This is a HR server. Okay, I have a lot of HR related data in this server. So main job of a, of a cybersecurity analyst or a cybersecurity professional is to what? Ensure that it's protecting the data. Okay, now we are living in 2025, you know, in this world, in this era, it is very, very, everything, entire focus of all the organization is revolving around data. Okay, everybody is bothered about the data, right? Uh, if you observe, if you start searching something on Google in your mobile, you know, you start to do, do this exercise, just search something on your mobile for some time, automatically after some time, mobile will start giving you ad whatever you, you've been searching around, right? So data has become that much important. Everybody is revolving around data, okay? And you guys, your importance and your actual role in organization is to ensure that you are able to protect your data. Okay, so let's say I have a HR server and all the data is there in my HR server, right? So if I want to protect this, this server from any external attack, what I will do? I can do two things. One, I will keep best tools in, in, in front of this server so that nobody can hack it. Okay. And also I will start uh, 24 bar 7 monitoring kind of things to ensure that I will keep an eye on this server. Who is logging in? Who is logging out? who is doing what in this server, who has what kind of access to this server, right? So when you are doing this kind of exercise, when you are trying to see how I can defend this server, my data, my infrastructure from any external or internal threats, that particular mindset is called as defensive security. Okay, you are trying to defend your entire infrastructure by keeping right kind of tools, technology, process, 24 bar 7 monitoring and stuff like that. Okay. So if you want to know something more about this, uh, just see this slide. You can take a screenshot also of this slide. I will never come and do any copyright claim on you. Okay. These are the tools which is mostly used in defensive security when it comes to security operation center, SOC, SIM, endpoint security. If you go to this, this, this section of my slide. These are some of the common and well-known certification which can help you in getting jobs in defensive security. These are the some of the good titles which people are mostly using in corporate or on cyber security. So that's about defensive security. Okay. Now let's talk about offensive security. What the hell is offensive security all about?